welcome back at Hacks. This week's episode is all about our first steps in growth hacking. Remember from last week that we would apply this on a software as a service platform? Which is running in beta version right now. Now, we really want to stress that this will be a series of vlogs that will follow up on each other. So, in order to be up to date, we strongly recommend you to subscribe. So, sit back, relax, press F for full screen and enjoy. Okay, first let me take you through the action plan of this week. First of all, we created a website on which we will test our brand image and how we are perceived towards the outside world. We will explain to you in great detail how we created this website during this vlog. We will use this website to do our grow tags on, such as A-B testing, the picture on the landing page and the unique selling proposition tagline. Finding a perfect USP might take some time, but it's important that you get it right. Since the USP is a factor that differentiates you from your competitors, such as having the lowest price, the highest quality or being the only product of your kind. Now, we've been talking about unique selling propositions and unique value propositions. But if we revisit the basics, then a UVP tells the inside reality, in other words, who we are as a company, while a USP tells the outside world why they should care. When we apply this to ourselves, we can come up with the following example. Our UVP is, we enable you to enlighten your organization with industry-driven insights on future scenarios. On, on the contrary, our USP is spot, safe and spread the right trends across all industries for your organization. Now, creating a website. What exactly do you need? The first thing you need is to come up with a unique domain name. If you already have a name in mind, you need to check the availability of this name as well. Three very handy websites that can help you with this are godaddy.com, namecheck.com and whois.net. On godaddy.com you can instantly see which domain names are still available and it gives you the ability to directly buy the free domain names. The prices of the domain names are also shown in case you are interested in buying one. On namecheck.com you can easily see which domain names are already taken and which ones are still available and it shows which usernames are still available as well. Whois.net gives you an overview on which domain names are still available, how much they cost and it gives a list of other possible domain names that might be interested for you as well, in case you need some extra inspiration. After you have figured out your domain name, you need to have a server to run your website on. We advise you to work together with a professional for this. We ourselves used Cloudstar. Starring Jane also helped us to get our WordPress design onto this server, since we have no IT knowledge at all. To set up our website, we've been chosen to use WordPress.org. For this, you can use a free template or buy a more advanced one. We use a team called Aveda, which is the most popular template on teamforest.com. Because of this, we know that this team will be often updated um, and will be added with plugins and features. So, now that you know how to create a website, you can start with this yourself. On our next vlog, we will show you the tips and tricks on how to run an A-B test on the website that we recently made. So if you're in for this, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe!